different technology? Uh, okay, one more time. I don't know if what? If you hear it. No, but you have to you have to use you have to use these words in the middle in, in the parenthesis. Okay, so I don't I don't know if if you 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 look for okay I don't know if you're looking for a new job looking for a new job but but I think half but but uh huh they they the, have the Johnstone. Well, you have to say the, the, the name, the name. Okay. Johnstone. The Johnstone Technical College. Uh huh. And then the, and then you just have. Okay. The Johnstone Technical College have job fair this weekend. Have or is having. Okay. Yeah, remember, hey, it says this weekend. That means that is future is mm. having. Okay. Nice. Is having. A, for example, you can go something like this. Okay. So that that could be an option, an, an answer. Okay. I don't know if you're looking for a new job, but the John Stoll Technical College is having a job fair. Remember that you have to adapt the tenses, okay? Okay, so uh, look at look at the first. Can you read the first, Diana? Okay, the first is, I don't know if you see the, uh, I forgot the pronunciation. Advertisement. Advertisement, but they're hiding waiters and waitress at the cactus beaches. Yeah, and waitresses. Waitresses. Yeah, at the Cactus Bistro. Okay, very good. Now look at the other. Okay, need help writing or revising your resume? Get creative writing ideas from Resume Express. Okay. Now, how can you complete number three? Remember that we're gonna start with, I don't know. I don't know if, I don't what? know if you think about rewriting. Uh-huh, rewriting. Mm -hmm. Yes, I don't know if you have, if you, you have rewriting. your resume. Uh, your resume. Yes. But, but, But you what? Look at the bar. But you getting help? Mm -hmm. But you can get help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Get help. At the Resume Express. Right? Uh, at the risk of stress. Right. Now look at the last one. The is last this, one. Is the, I mean, is the same, is the same or a little bit different? or very different. I think it's a little. Uh -huh. it looks the same. Kind of the same. Yes. OK, very good. Okay, well, check that out, please. Yes. 
and major corrections if necessary. Okay. Okay. Number three, I need some help. So guys, can you tell me the, the numbers? What's the, what's the, what are the numbers you have from top to bottom? From top to I bottom? Have, mm -hmm. I have two, five, three, six, one, seven, and four. Six, seven, four. And four. Exactly. Very good. Yes. That's the numbers. The number, numbers, numbers. Excellent. Very good. Okay. Now, this is the, the conversation. Can you do the conversation, please? Can you start, Diana? Okay. And then maybe you continue. I've interviewed for six jobs in the past couple of weeks and I still haven't been hired. I really need some help. Maybe you should get some advice somewhere. I don't know if you're familiar with the Job Resource Center, but I can give you tips on how to interview better. I think I have heard of it. Is it on a Maple Street? Street? near the park? Yeah, it is. When I was looking for a job last year, I met with a career counselor there. Really? I didn't know you have help finding your job. Oh, yeah. I never would have gotten the job I have right now without their help. The best part was that they gave me a lot of help with things like writing my resume and improving my interview skills. Well, I really need to get a job soon. So I better check, check out the job resource center today. Exactly, very good. Thank you guys, excellent. So uh, if you don't have any questions, so let's move on, okay? Okay. Let's move on, everybody. So let's go to lesson D. The last lesson. Yeah, good. the last lesson, guys. What do you think? Last lesson, job interviews. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Don't cry, please. <laughs> so guys, it says lesson D, job interviews okay okay job interviews Let me check here okay so since we are talking about career okay since we're talking about career i think this is a good a really good topic to talk about job interviews okay now Let's get it started with the lesson, you guys, okay? And let me tell you something, right? Now, have you, or well, David, do you remember your job interview? Or do you, do you remember other interviews that you have had, job interviews? Yeah, when I was living in Mexico City, Mm -hmm. I had a interview uh the subway. Ah, for the subway. Oh, like eh, in, in the in the in the metro. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I've been working for seven years. Really? There. Wow. Yeah. In the in the in the subway, exactly, but and how did the interview go? Oh, that was very, very hard. Really? At the, begi at the beginning, I had to, to wait, to wait 
for the for my interview mm -hmm. for four hours no stuck way. Up in front of the secretary no i can't believe four hours standing i, I think that was my first test experience <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yes, right. Yes, you're right. That was your first test. If the if the if someone would say, "Come on, I've been here like two hours. I can't be here anymore," and they go away, right? And and yeah. they don't come back. <laughs> okay. So okay, yeah. So um. Well, I would. I was about to ask Diana for a job interview, but I don't think she has had a job interview here. Yes, I think so. Yes. So, but in the future, Diana is going to, to uh -huh. be a great um, prospect. Oh yes, a great prospect for companies, right? Excellent. Oh, she's gonna be a good teacher. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, I really I don't teacher. think so. Guys, look, uh, uh, I was, I didn't, I mean, it wasn't in my plans to become a teacher. Yes. I mean, when I was in high school, I thought about studying medicine. Actually, my, my technical subject, well, not technical, my area, my area of a study in the last semester was anatomy okay and i was really i was really you know uh, into anatomy you know things like that uh, my 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 father's family most of them are nurses doctors specialists okay but just like you for example just like you that diana i finish my two my two years english course at setec you know, I finished my two years course. And when I finished, my teacher told me, hey, do you, do you want to work as a teacher? Imagine I was 18 years old. I was in my last semester, okay, of high school. Oh. And he told me, hey, I, you know what? I, I have seen that you, are, you, you learn a lot in this, in this course. And, and, and I'm really sure you, 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 you can teach the basics, you know, to other students. Uh, there, is a, there is a teacher position in, in Setec Coloso, you know. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then I was like, kind of, you know, me, a teacher? Yeah, a guy, a guy from Las Cruces? I was like, damn, I cannot be like that. <laughs> I, was, I was like... I mean, I didn't, I, guys, I mean, to, to make long story short, I didn't picture myself being a teacher, believe me, believe me, daddy. And, and I think that would be the last thing I would, I would do. But you know what? I really loved, I really love, you know, to be in front of people. I remember my, my, my first day of class, I had, I had four students only, and, oh. and it was a great experience. Uh, you know, you know, teaching, I, I, I mean, I loved it. I didn't have any, any experience at all. It was my first time. So, uh, so I think, I think sometimes what, what I think sometimes that uh, you have your objective, right? But all, all of a sudden, okay, uh, you, you change your mind, yes? you change your mind about what you're gonna study, okay? Sometimes because something happened to you, maybe other thing catches your attention, okay? Yes. So uh, I was teaching on the weekends, Saturday and Sunday. Uh, I, I was very, I was, you know, when I finished my English courses, I was really fluent, okay? I was fluent in everything. Uh, um, I did. I I knew a lot of the grammar and anything, you know, all those past simples and presents and all of the, all of the tenses. I I handled them really well. And uh, and yes, I feel so. I, I feel so happy. Yes, I feel so happy that in the end I changed my mind. Yes, I did change my mind. So 
Uh, but anyways, if you have if you have like Diana in this case that you are going to uh, start your your professional studies very soon, okay, very soon, uh, you will you will have to you will have to make up your mind because you have a lot of things you know going on. I study I study the 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 bachelor's degree in language teaching, okay. I wasn't just someone who learned English or someone who been to the States. Actually, I have never been to the United States, guys, yes. But what I did is was to improve, improve my, my fluency, my intonation and uh, everything, okay? So, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah, I, I, um, I studied my four years career as, as an English teacher and I finished like, guys, I finished nine years ago. Imagine, I finished my, my career. I finished my career nine years ago, okay? So next year, I will be 10, it will be 10 years after I finished next year because I finished in 2011. So my next year is gonna be 10 years, okay? So after I finished my, my career, so so uh well hurry up and make up your mind because oh oh no but you are in the in the last semester no what semester are you diana in the three ah you're in the third semester you're in second yes. grade well you still have some time some time uh, okay? i don't know <laughs> some time so because if you in in january i start the fourth uh, yeah, exactly. Yes, you start your your fourth semester. Yes, uh, but in your in your fifth, I guess, or sixth semester, you will have to choose an area, you know, of study or everything. Okay. Uh, um, uh, but if you if you are you know considering becoming an English teacher in Acapulco, there is one university that can provide you that if if you want to. Okay. If not, well, it's according to other areas like laws, medicine. Did, did you say something about becoming a chef? No, right? It was, oh. I think it wasn't you. It was in my previous group. <laughs> no. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, but anyways, I mean, try to, try to, uh, you know, um, uh, try to set, you know, your first, uh, uh, you know, your, your goals, but also doing something that you like, yes. Yes, because I like technology, but it's in the other way, I like languages. Actually, those hey, those those careers are very connected. Okay. Yeah. Either either you can use either you can study languages or or, or technology. Uh, uh, I mean, there there are a lot of opportunities because right now, having a well having. A career in technology, it is more, let's say, more effective and more valuable in the, you know, in the in the internet things right now, you know, because of the pandemic and things like that, you know. Yes. They, I mean, uh, people that have more technological skills are required in their jobs, in different jobs. Okay. Yes. So, so, and also, imagine speaking a second language, English, it would be amazing. Okay. I like so to you, in the future. I like to learn uh, Japanese because I really love. I love it. This I can, I can tell that. Oh. I can tell. I, I I can tell that for your background. <laughs> <laughs> for your yeah. picture background, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yes. Well, anyways. Okay. Right now, yes. You have to. You have to you not know, th start thinking about it. Yes. Yes, I know. It. Okay, you guys. Well, let's move on. Let's move on because we're not going to finish this, this lesson. So, guys, um, guys, uh, what would you do to prepare for a job interview, guys? What would you do? Come on, let's, let's, let's make a list. I think the resume. Uh, uh, listen, writing or what do you say? Resume. Uh, writing. Uh, Writing your resume or yeah. yes, yes, writing your resume. Okay, yes, well, exactly. When you prepare for an interview, you have to, you know, check on your resume, check if everything is okay, 
Yes, your your skills, everything. Okay. What else? I mean, remember, you are a hey, you are going to an office. You will be in an office. You will be with other people. Would you be okay if you if you dress casual? No. No, right? I think you need to prepare uh, clothes formal. Or like formal what? Clothes. Like what, for example? Uh, I'm not sure. Like an outfit, not an outfit for for job interviews, no? Like maybe yes. pants, a, a, a suit and a tie. Yes. Okay. Yeah some things like that right you have to yes. you know you have to be uh a, you have to you know comb your hair dressed you know formal okay so um it would be okay if you research on the company before you go yes what do you think yes i think it's, it's sorry Okay, so what else, guys, what else apart from that? Come on, give me more ideas. Think about hey, think about your, your resume. Would you exaggerate in your resume? No. So what what would you write? I... Uh huh. You run out of ideas, guys, or what? <laughs> you run out of ideas? I, okay. So, okay, for example, when you talk about your resume, uh, of course, you have to be honest. Remember, you have to be honest with your resume, okay? Imagine that if you write, I know how to speak five languages. And uh. you... And you speak just a little, but you, you need to, if you are going to write that you speak five languages, they have to be in the full command of the language. I mean, yeah. not only saying hello in Chinese or goodbye. No, you have to, you need to have a good, a good command, a full command of the language. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So you have to be honest with your resume. Okay. So don't lie. Don't lie. But... Guys, but what people sometimes do is ja lie, but, but just a little. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah. a little. Just a little, just a little, yes. So some people just lie just a little, yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay. Now, guys, look at exercise B now, yeah? Uh, here, guys, we have uh, some questions, okay? Yes? So, but imagine, hey, imagine that you you are a job interviewer. You are not the employee. Now you are the the, the manager. You are the human resources, uh, uh, the one in charge of human resources. You are the interviewer. You ask the questions. Okay. All right. So, what would you want to ask about a potential employee? Come on. Can can you write? Can you write two questions? Come on. Write two questions that you can ask an, uh, a potential employee. Come on. It's okay? The instruction, it's okay? Yes? yes. Okay, go. I'll give you just uh, like, you know, three more minutes, three, four minutes. Come on.
Okay, Diana, can you read me? Can you read one question, please? Okay. Uh, well, we should give you the job. Okay, <laughs> we should give you the job. Wow, it's very, very straight. Why we should give you the job? Why? Why do you come here? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, David, what about you? Thank you, Diana, excellent. Yes. Okay, I think the, the question would be, why would you want to get this job? Why do you want to get this job? Okay, why do you want to? Okay, sounds less direct. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you want to? Oh, yes. I, I am using would. Why would you want? Ah, why would you? Okay, yeah, that's good. Why yeah. Would what would you want? What would you want this job? Okay. Yes. Now, okay. Now, um so when we guys, when we are a job interview, sometimes there are some tricky, there are some tricky questions, okay? 
actually, if you look, if you look up on the internet, job interview, you will see that there are a lot of information, okay? Important considerations, things to do in a job interview, things that you don't have to do in a job interview, okay? There's actually a, a lot of information on this matter on the internet, okay? So, uh, but guys, there are some tricky questions, right? And here we have perfect answers. Look at the reading, okay? So it says uh, to tough and tricky interview questions. Perfect answers to tough and tricky interview questions, okay? So how would you answer these questions, guys? For example, uh, David, describe your ideal job. Can you tell me just think about your ideal job, David? I mean, imagine that you don't have a job right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. What would it be your ideal job? Like For example, working, uh -huh, working where, with who? Think about the atmosphere, the people you have to be in contact with, if you're going to sell something. OK, come on. I imagine the idea, ideal job would be um, like Acapulco next next to the beach. Okay. So, because I mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I've been working at uh, the Mexico City. I didn't like that there. Okay. All right. So, but uh, yes, that's the atmosphere. But where would you like to work? In a restaurant or as a waiter or as, as like on the beach doing what? What would be the ideal job? You mentioned the atmosphere, yes, but what is the job? Okay. I mean, what jobs can, can you do around the beach? Maybe about how to say man, maintenance, 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 Man, maintenance. Okay, uh -huh. like beach maintenance. Yeah. Okay, all right. So you seem to enjoy the beach being close and maintenance would be. What about you? Thank you, David. What about you, Diana? Um, I think maybe in a place where I can practice my English. On the beach? <laughs> at, a, <laughs> at a hotel? Yes, at a hotel or travel industry in airport. Okay. Travel agency? Yes, maybe. Okay, at an airport, yes. At an, at an airport, yes. That would be a great idea. Okay. Now, and excellent what about okay yeah so guys um let's do the let's do the reading okay we're gonna go ahead to, to the reading but also at the same time we're gonna answer these questions okay yes so look at the first when when interviewers say describe your ideal job what are they really asking okay for example look at look at look at the first Diana, can you read the first, please? Okay. Well, read the introduction first and then describe your ideal job. Okay. If you've got one chance to make a first impression, here you learn how to answer the question a research survey, survey of 2,000 managers found to be most common. Describe mm -hmm. your ideal job. It is your, this is your chance to show to know the business, says Nancy. The Tarman, president of Bellman Communication in New York City, who as a should convey the assignment for the specific of what my company does. You know, in other words, tell job content, not ideal office hours. 
Okay. Yes. So when the when the interviewers are asking you, describe your ideal job. Uh, are they are they telling you to describe in which place you would be comfortable? You no. would be nice. No, right? I think that is what my company does. Okay, so there are two things. Yes, it's your chance to show you know the business. Okay, and a specifics of what the company does. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so that's what that's what they are asking you when they when when they say describe your ideal job. It's not about being in a nice, comfortable place without doing anything, just just sitting down and that's it. No, right? They're yeah. not telling you to do that. So please go ahead, do the reading and go to the go through the questions, okay? And answer the questions. Come on. Go ahead, you guys. I'll give you a, a, like around eight minutes or 10 minutes, okay? For you to do that. Come on. 10 minutes, okay.
Ah, uh, it's okay, Diana? Yes. Yeah, okay. So let's get it started, David. Yeah? Yeah. Let's, let's get it started, you guys. So, uh, let's everybody check on this part, okay? We have this uh, second question. So based on the advice, what is the best way to answer questions about your previous job? What is the best way, Diana? What did you find out? Um, I found that hear your enthusiasm about taking your career to the next level for a new challenge. Okay. Uh, where did you find out that information? In the second paragraph. Aha, uh -huh. eh. Ah, okay, yes. What do you want to leave your current position? And then the question there is, what is the best way to answer questions about your previous job? Mm. So, so uh, the best way to answer, according to this, they say, look at they say at, at the beginning, what do they say? In the second paragraph. In the, tell me about yourself. No, no, in the second paragraph. Why do you want to leave the career position? Oh. Be honest, but positive. Exactly. Be honest, but positive. Okay. So remember that. Um, what is the best way to answer questions about your previous job? You have to be honest, for example that you didn't like your previous job for something, but be positive that maybe you want to improve, okay? You, you, want, you want to keep improving, yes? Okay. So you have to be honest, but positive. Now, David, what, why is body language important? What do they mention about body language? In body language, is in paragraph, in the next paragraph, no? Paragraph uh, three. Uh, yes, but I think it's more in, in the net. Tell about when... yourself. Okay. I found out what she wants to know is what about you make sense for her firm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do they mention about body language over there? Yes, in the kick trip. In the what? Kick trip. Keep. Ah, in the in the trick. Okay, and. And the trick says what? Sit up, sit up and smile. Thirty-five percent of what a person remember about your in base, your body cues. Your body cues. 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 Yeah. So body language is is um is how the per or how you how you. A, a well sit down, direct to people, okay? When you answer something. So actually body language is important because a lot of what someone remembers about you is based on your body language, okay? Imagine that you bite your nails in your interview. Do you think it would be okay? Of course not, right? 
So, in fact, biting your nails is someone that is, uh, you know, someone that is insecure, right? Yes. And and the boss wouldn't wouldn't be happy with that. Okay. So, body language is important because because someone remembers about you based on your body language. That's why it's important. Okay. So, Diana, number four. What do, what do recruiters want to know about you? What's the best way to tell them? What about you make sense for, for her field? Highly a few experience that might not stand out on paper. Okay, yes. Where, where is that information? In the paragraph, tell me about yourself. Okay. Right Excellent. Very good. Yeah. So, um, it says what she wants to know is what about you make sense for her firm. Okay. Yes. So that means that that want to know about the things that make you good, that make you good for the particular job. Okay. Yes. If if you are uh, if you want to apply for the position of technician, okay, like a technician, like you know, electricity. So what makes you good for that particular job? What are your skills? Okay. And how how can you tell them? How can you tell them? Highlight of your experience that might not stand out on paper. Okay, excellent. You have to mention, you have to mention your your experiences. It says a few experiences, not to tell them the whole things you have done in your entire life. Of course not. Just highlight the most, like you know, the most relevant experiences. Okay. Uh, that that maybe that maybe you didn't write in your in your on your on paper. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So that's the ones. Now, and David, the, the last one. What does the article suggest you do after revealing a weakness? Remember, the weakness is something you're not good at. So, what's the suggestion? The article suggests that I don't share my worst trait. Mm -hmm. Don't share your worst trait. Hi, don't, okay, don't share your worst trait. Oh yes, don't share maybe your, wor your worst characteristic. But yeah. if you have, but if you have a weakness like that, similar to that, mm -hmm. how can you reveal that? Uh, a, how can you, re how can you, what can you say? What can you say? Uh, uh, well, not what can you say? What what does the article suggest after revealing a weakness? Um, Explain how you learn to balance your work lot. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Yes. So. Um, so yes, you have to you have to tell how you learn how to fix it exactly how to balance your workload. Okay, so after re revealing a weakness, tell how you have learned to fix it. Okay, yes, not mm -hmm. just say your weaknesses and that's it. No, say how you're gonna how how you how you have worked with them. Maybe that you have it, but. You still have it, but you have done something, yes, to you know to um to improve. Okay. So you guys, excellent. Now uh, we're gonna move on to the next part, which is the listening and writing, a fabulous opportunity. Yes, a fabulous opportunity here. Look at that. So um so for example, guys. When you see a when you see a job offer on the internet, when you see a job offer on a company, you know outside, 
yes. Maybe on the door, in the entrance, in the hall, yes. When you see the job, maybe, maybe, uh, in, maybe in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, like in a cafe, maybe in a restaurant, maybe in a, this a small restaurant like this Fondas, okay. You, you see a job, okay? So when you look at a job listing in a paper or in a restaurant or online, what information does the listing usually have? For example, in some jobs that they say, uh, we need or we require a dishwasher, yes? We need a lady to clean the house, okay? What are the what are the specifics or the characteristics that are in the in the list? Come on, what do you think about it? Okay, if not, I'll give an example. Yes, I have a, 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 a car wash. I have a car wash. We are only two people, but I need another person. And in my car wash outside, I say, hey, I need someone, okay? What would be the qualities of that person that I need? What qualities should I list? Diana, David. I think a young person. Okay, yes. I need someone from, from the age uh, 15 to 25. Uh -huh. What else? Mm Yes, Diana. Come on, you guys, you, you can do it, you can do it. Maybe experience. Okay, exactly. Of course, experience. Experience, one year experience. Yes, what else? Years ago, companies and uh, required uh, two recommendation cards, letters. Okay, yes, recommendation yeah, letters. letter. Okay, please mm -hmm. bring me uh, two recommendation letters. Yes, from your previous jobs. Okay, excellent, mm -hmm. very good. Okay. Uh, it's okay that I, that I write the salary that, that, that he's going to get. Yes, maybe. Yeah. Maybe oh yes. God. Yes, because if I if I see if I see a job that is going to give me good money, so I would like to work there, yes or no? Yes. Of course, yes. Salary and also how to apply for the job, no? Oh yes. A, a, a CV, write an email come to the car wash, I don't know, something like that, right? Yes, so this is a fabulous opportunity, guys, listening and writing. So read the job advertisement, guys. Can you guess the missing words, guys? Can you guess the words that the, the lines? For example, it says wanted, hey, 
So we have a, we have an advertisement, just just like the car wash, but in a different position. So Diana, can you read it? Wanted. Wanted. Local tour guides for guides 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 for Australian travel company. Can you read the other? Next. Nice. Are you looking for a? Are you looking for a? A what? How can you complete it? A good summer job. A good summer job. Excellent. Continue, Diana. Hey, are you looking for a good summer job? Do you enjoy meeting people for other countries? Okay, continue. Are, are you, you interested in your local? Are you interested in your local? your local city, for example. Okay. Okay. Are you... Are you... Are you an organized person? I don't know. Can you speak good? English. English. Do you like to? I like to. What's the job about? I like to just to, to wash the cars. No, 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 but no, here the job is this local tour guide for Australian travel company. Okay. I like to tour guides. Okay, yes. Okay. All right. Well, guys, let's listen. Let's listen and complete this part, okay? Uh, follow the listening. I will repeat it twice. Okay. Yes. Here we go. Job interviews. Two. Listening and writing. A fabulous opportunity. A and B. Listen to Maria talk about an ad with her friend Alex. Hey, Alex. You won't believe this. I saw an ad online yesterday for the perfect summer job. Well, perfect for me anyway. Really? What kind of job? It's with a travel company. I don't know if you've heard of them, Canada Travel, but they're looking for local tour guides, just part-time, but that's okay. I'll be working on my final paper this summer. So yeah, I'll have time, but I can still study too. A tour guide, huh? That sounds interesting. What do you have to do exactly? Well, it says it's a fun summer job and they want someone who enjoys meeting students from other countries. I'd love that. I mean, it's fun talking to people from overseas. You find out so much about people. And you know me, I'll talk to anyone. Yeah, that's true. So what else do you need? I mean, do you have to speak another language or anything? Yeah. The funny thing is they want people who can speak English and Spanish. I mean, I lived in Chile for two years, so my Spanish is pretty good. But one of the main things they want is for you to be interested in your local area and its history. Really? Oh, this job really is perfect for you. 
I mean, you spend every weekend going to museums and visiting all the historical sites. I know. And just think, the best thing is I'll get paid for doing it. Cool. It sounds fun, actually. Oh, and you get to travel around the whole region for two days a week. Wow. So you'll be taking tourists on day trips and stuff like that. I mean, if you get the job. So what do you have to do to apply? Actually, I've applied already online. They wanted fun, flexible, and hardworking applicants. And I'm all three, so yeah. I wrote a cover letter and attached my resume. So I hope I hear back soon. I really want this job. I'm sure. Okay, one more Page time. 130. Page 125. Lesson D. Job interviews. 2. Listening and writing. A fabulous opportunity. A and B. Listen to Maria talk about an ad with her friend Alex. Hey, Alex. You won't believe this. I saw an ad online yesterday for the perfect summer job. Well, perfect for me anyway. Really? What kind of job? It's with a travel company. I don't know if you've heard of them, Canada Travel, but they're looking for local tour guides, just part-time, but that's okay. I'll be working on my final paper this summer. So, yeah, I'll have time, but I can still study, too. A tour guide, huh? That sounds interesting. What do you have to do, exactly? Well, it says it's a fun summer job, and they want someone who enjoys meeting students from other countries. I'd love that. I mean, it's fun talking to people from overseas. You find out so much about people. And you know me. I'll talk to anyone. Yeah, that's true. So what else do you need? I mean, do you have to speak another language or anything? Yeah. The funny thing is, they want people who can speak English and Spanish. I mean, I lived in Chile for two years, so my Spanish is pretty good. But one of the main things they want is for you to be interested in your local area and its history. Really? Oh, this job really is perfect for you. I mean, you spend every weekend going to museums and visiting all the historical sites. I know, and just think. The best thing is, I'll get paid for doing it. Cool. It sounds fun, actually. Oh, and you get to travel around the whole region for two days a week. Wow. So you'll be taking tourists on day trips and stuff like that. I mean, if you get the job. So what do you have to do to apply? Actually, I've applied already online. They wanted fun, flexible, and hardworking applicants. And I'm all three, so yeah. I wrote a cover letter and attached my resume. So I hope I hear back soon. I really want this job. I'm sure. Page one. All right, you guys. So are you looking for a what? For a perfect summer job. For a perfect, uh huh. Thank you. 
Oh my God. <laughs> my microphone was closed, guys. Sorry. Diana, please, can you continue? Okay. Do you enjoy meeting people from the other countries? Are you interested in your local area? Okay. In your local area. Area. Yes. area. Are you? Are you good at English and Spanish? Uh, not exactly. Big Are big you? Legs. Can you speak good English and Spanish? Okay. Yes, but that's right. Yourself? Motivated. Are you motivated? Yes, English. Do you like to? Do you like to what, guys? It's a. It look at the company. What type of company is that? Uh, to travel. To travel. Exactly. Do you like to travel? Okay. Now the other. Continue, please. Coley. Coley. Our time. No, they mentioned the age. The age of the, of the person. Coley is a what? 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 What is the position? And she's giving you advice. If she's giving you an advice, she's a what? Uh, or she might be a what? She would be a manager, no? Of 18 Travel. Well, I, well no, sorry. 18 Travel is the name of the company, I guess. Yes, is in the company and tell her why you why you would be an tour tour guide guy. Out, outstanding. Outstanding guy. So send your send letter and reason what? What what do you send when you want to get a job? Uh, you send mm -hmm. your resume. Resume. Your resume, yes. Okay. So a successful applicants will receive excellent what? Pay. Exactly. Pay. Yeah. Excellent pay and generous benefits package. Excellent. Very good. Okay, you guys. Very good. Very good. So, uh, okay. So, I officially finished the book now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. But not the workbook. The workbook will have homework, okay? Page 96 and 97. Yes, the last one. 97, exactly. Okay. And we'll do the review on Monday, okay? Okay. We'll do the review on Monday. Okay, so, so guys, I'll see you on Monday. Have a nice weekend. Okay, take care. Okay, okay, Bye. thank you. Bye. 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 See you Monday. Take care. Take care.